they'd be cow tippy. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. You're going to have to edit this. I'm sorry. Now, hello. My name is uh, Joe Polish, and I own Piranha Marketing in Tempe, Arizona, where we teach people how to eat their competitors alive. Um, <laughs> I can't really say that I would probably ever be in direct response marketing had I not read my first Gary Halbert newsletter a few years ago. Uh, at this point in time, I'm doing pretty well thanks to a lot of the inspiration I've gotten from Gary. He, he is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, marketing minds on the planet. Um, he'll continue to be a huge inspiration. Um, he says one thing which has really changed my life, which is you'll always accomplish more through movement than you ever will through meditation. Uh, you can listen to all the tapes, read all the books in the world. If you never get off your ass and do anything, you're still going to be broke. And uh, this year I'll do close to a million dollars in sales, and a lot of that is a direct result of uh, listening to Gary. So any money that you invest in marketing, if you do not invest in Gary's teachings, uh, you're going to have a hard time learning it other ways, and I can guarantee it will be 10 to 20 to 30 to 100 times more expensive to uh, try to delete that from your, from your life. So. Um, I do appreciate everything I have learned from this seminar. Uh, now I do feel I have the ability to uh, write copy myself, which is always something I avoided like the plague. And this, if you want to learn anything about how to be a better writer, then you must attend this seminar. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. <clears throat> My name is Leonardo Habegger. I'm originally from Switzerland. And I have been in the direct marketing business for about 15 years. I also have been uh, to about every marketing seminar there is uh, around and I have to say if you really are serious about direct marketing and you know the most important thing we have is our time the only thing you have to do I can say this now after 15 years buy Gary's tapes follow them step by step that's all you have to do and you will be successful Hi, my name is Gene Dowell. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been to eight or nine of Gary's seminars. Um, everyone seems to be better than the one before. But the real reason that I come is that I get my batteries charged just being around the guy. And there is absolutely nowhere else. There's no books. There's no, there's no other way to get the information that Gary gives at these seminars and the handouts the template letters alone if you never watch the tapes will be worth the price that you'll pay for all of it thank you uh, my name is kit weathers i've known gary for several years now and i've been to one of his seminars down in key west i've learned a lot of things from gary reading his newsletters and uh, i will make well in excess of a million dollars this year, and I owe a lot of that to Gary. And I came to this seminar to learn how to write better copy. I write my own sales letters, I write uh, seminars and that sort of thing. And I, I looked at all the bullets in the brochure and it was very intriguing. I said, there's no way in hell in, in three days he's gonna teach us all that stuff. But the interesting thing was not only did he teach us all the stuff that was in the brochure, he taught us a lot of stuff that wasn't in the brochure. And for me, that was uh, the most exciting part of the seminar. All the way through, we heard all these aha experiences like you talked about. You, you constantly heard the sound of people slapping their head. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I understand now. And it happened for me yesterday at, at the beginning of day two. And we started talking about the most important things that we could learn in a seminar. And uh, almost as an afterthought, when Gary started talking about the things that we really needed to know, not what we wanted to know, uh, he, he, he pulled one from number two position, put it up in number one position, and for me it turned out to be number one. He said, rid yourself of all your previous bad investments. And once again, he altered my sleeping habits. I woke up at five o'clock this morning and made a list <clears throat> of my bad investments. And I have two complete legal pages of things here that I've got to get out of my life, things that I'm doing that are they're messing me up. And Angie, Betty, yeah. Lisa. <laughs> That's page one. That's page one. But there are a lot of things that you just agree to. You say, oh, yeah, I, I'll do that for you. I'll, I'll be in this club. I'll do that. I'll take care of this. And, and you look back over it and just so much BS. So I think Gary is a perfect BS eliminator, although he's, he's a carrier himself. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that Gary's motto is to give more than expected. And, and this is one time that I actually believe that 
uh, I got a lot more than I expected, and I, I applaud you, Gary. Thank you very much for a terrific seminar. And I'll come back for many more and buy, continue to buy your tapes. Thank you. I'm John Corder from Madisonville, Kentucky. I didn't come down here to be a writer. I don't have that ability. I don't have that interest. I came primarily to find some people that I can work with on a couple of killer projects that I have. And uh, I think I've found them. My name is Vesper Teaster. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. and. Uh, kid over there was talking about BS. I've got, I'm certified in BS. I have I have a bachelor's of science degree in advertising. And it's, uh, I finished summa cum laude, and I really didn't know what to do with it because I had it, and I said, well, I'm, I'm an advertising major. I should know how to make this money now. But I wasn't making anything. I mean, I had a job at agencies. I'd started my own freelance business. Um, and I started out a direct mail place, and they sent me to uh, Gary's seminar. And I'm finding out those principles and theories that I was learning about in school. Sure, they're valid, but now I know how to do it. <laughs> now I know how to really do it. Thanks, Gary. Thank uh, my name is Tom Riguez. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, originally from Israel. One thing you're going to get from this seminar that you're not going to get from any other seminar or even from reading Gary's Halbert materials is you're going to be somehow released on a cellular level. And you're going to just feel that you can just go and do that sales letter much better than you can do it before. I've done successful sales letters before, but I just have, um, it's hard to explain, you just feel more released. You feel like you can just do it and do it even better in the next level. And I don't only recommend you'll get this specific seminar. I recommend that you'll come one time to see Gary up close and personal and just see everything oozing out of him. Can I, uh, uh, <laughs> I still hooked up? It's, it was off for some reason. You're, uh, I, 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 I talked in here. Right? I talked in here and just finish up. Look, uh, we're going to close up here now. Uh, we're going to close the seminar, but we are not going to close our relationship. Um, you guys have, every person in this room has just given me um, some really nice words and a really valuable gift. And, um, Actually, I've gotten a lot of that from my subscribers over the years, and it's never uh, ceased to nourish me. The, um, I'm going to come back to my closing thought, is that uh, if there's anything that you can do to improve your marketing, nothing will improve it as dramatically as figuring out and, and putting your time into how to make what it is that you're better and more useful for the people that you're serving. Um, actually, if you will concentrate on improving your substance and what you have to offer and being of more and more service and giving more and more value, value I will not say that your advertising and your marketing is unimportant, but it sure makes it easier, it makes it a lot better. Um, and I, I want to tell you uh, the second to last thing that I have to tell you. And then after that, I'll tell you the last thing. Uh, the second to last thing that I have to tell you is there is without any, any doubt <coughs> that we live in troubled times and that <coughs> it is... Um, Success for some people seems to be more and more uh, of a gossamer dream that they cannot do it, especially for the children. Uh, we've lost an entire generation of young black men to crack cocaine. Uh, we've lost an awful lot of all of the races, uh, the children in the United States, due to just our moronic, self-serving policies. Uh, we, we are now beginning more and more ways than one to suffer the neglect of our generation to, to not nourish the children that are coming up. And um, one of the things that is done wrong, and, and I want to be an advocate of this, and I think you, you people all do too, is, you know, is that what happens is, do you know how people treat you? 
people treat you the way you teach them to treat you. And that's true of your students, your attendees, your subscribers, your employers, and your employees, etc. And more and more, I try and teach people to treat me with respect and love, and more and more that that happens. And more and more, I find that one of the keys to that is for me to only associate with people that, that kind of nourish me and that give me energy. See, you know, I think almost every human being can be looked at as a living transmitter. And some of those people transmit paranoia and they transmit uh, fear and they transmit dismalness and they transmit sadness and other people transmit enthusiasm and they transmit support and they transmit joy and other people just don't seem to transmit nothing. They're like these great big human black holes that suck all the energy out of everything. And today, the government of the United States and in general society makes it as difficult as possible for entrepreneurs to succeed. But you know what? It isn't big businesses that employ most of the people in the United States. 70% of employees uh, in the United States of the workforce is employed by small businessmen, entrepreneurs, who rise above every roadblock that can be put in front of them. You know, the fir one of the first roadblocks is parents who've been damaged themselves, telling them, you can't do it. Don't even bother to try. You get another roadblock when you enter school and they just feed you this abysmally incorrect, 180 degree off information. As I say, telling you how important trigonometry is gonna be in your life and how important Latin is gonna be in your life. And in social studies, you learn how the government's going to work and, you know, they leave out a lot of things um, about how the government really works. And then when you get out of that, you have more and more difficult things. Um, I think a lot of times people get the comfort from their religion, but an awful lot of times, too, that that is used as a way to oppress people and keep them down. And we have all these structures, and yet there are people who come, they're like flowers seeking for sunlight that come right up through the asphalt and the concrete and the jungle and or the the, the, the concrete and, and all the asphalt and everything that's laid on top of them and they just fight and fight and fight no matter how many times they get run over. They just keep coming up like human flowers for that sunlight. You know, there was a fella here that that I very bluntly told him this project didn't have a chance. And he was in tears when he left. But I did that, he wasn't angry with me. I did that out of love and affection. It's better that I stop him from pursuing a multi-level piece of nonsense where he is getting financially sodomized than allow him to go on. And you're not kind of getting that kind of stuff in school. And I want to tell you that I know that you people have said a lot of nice things about me. But the fact of the matter is, is that everybody in the room is taking a chance on being in this business. It wasn't inexpensive for you to come here and see me and you took a chance on that and everybody in the room seemed to be a person of good humor and made this kind of a fun event so the first thing I want to tell you is and I say this from the heart the people in this room you are my heroes honest to God you are the second thing I want to tell you is that I'm going to have another much better seminar than this in June and I would like everybody in this room to come to that seminar free as my guest. This one's over. Thanks.